another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Taylor Larson and I'm happy you landed on my channel and you're here. I am doing a little bit of a morning in my life today. I usually record just day vlogs or a few days in a row vlogs, but I thought it'd be fun to just show you specifically what a morning in my life looks like. So as you guys previously saw, we made our like pre-workout, during workout drink. This drink is a Spark. I just get it off Amazon and it's got, I think 120 milligrams of caffeine and then a bunch of vitamins and it that also provide energy. Yeah, so we just got done with the workout. I came back inside and now it's time to eat breakfast because I am starving. Um, prior to my workout, I usually will just eat like a few dates or I'll have part of a banana to get a little bit of calories in my system. But honestly, when I wake up at like 5, 6 a.m., I'm not really that hungry. So I don't want like a ton of food. So I'm gonna make breakfast and usually my breakfast is the same, but sometimes it changes. But the whole um, main part of my breakfast is I have a carb, a healthy fat, and then some protein. And that is what I focus on. So I think today I have some sourdough homemade that I made that I need to get through and eat. So I think I'm gonna have a slice of sourdough toast and probably just a protein shake. I'm running a little bit behind this morning. Not um, uncommon for me. So we gotta get this breakfast going because then we have to go into our next step of the morning routine, which is getting homeschool ready for Decker. So let's go make some breakfast. Okay, so now that we've got the bed all made, I have this just foldable table that I store. This is where I'm gonna set up homeschool. I have a chair I bring in here. And we set up here and now um, the boys are playing. So I'm gonna take advantage of them being distracted and playing and I'm gonna come into my bathroom and I'm going to wash my face and do my skincare. I actually need to wash my hair so bad today, but I just don't have time right this morning. Now I'm just going to wash my face, do my skincare, and then we'll get school set up. But I wanted to show you guys at least like my skincare steps and stuff that I do because I feel like skincare sometimes can be overwhelming and it feels like there's a million steps. I feel like I've come up with a pretty affordable, simple, just a few step skincare routine that's been doing wonders for my skin. Okay, so the first product I use is I use this CeraVe this is the hydrating facial cleanser, but I normally get, I think it's like the foaming one. It's like a bluish color, not a green. Um, but I accidentally grabbed this one, but that's okay. But I love the CeraVe cleanser because it always has um, essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and all of their stuff. They really like taking care of your skin barrier that it naturally has. You don't want to wash away that because the natural skin barrier is what protects your skin as well and some cleansers will kind of break through that. So this is going to restore and protect it. So I'm gonna wash my face with this. And then the other products I use are, let's see, I have one, two, three at the moment. I normally have four, but I ran out of my vitamin C serum and it's just not here yet. So I use this, it's called, let me set this down. It's called Fix Filler Serum. And this is a peptide serum. I was influenced to buy this off TikTok shop and it is a holy grail. I will always keep this in my routine, but you use it as a spot treatment. So you use a little bit on the areas where you have wrinkles that you want to focus on. And what it does, it's going to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles, like tighten the skin in that area. Or if you're someone who gets Botox, this is a product that will actually prolong the appointments between your Botoxes. It'll make 
the effect or the look of Botox lasts longer. So I love using this on my forehead lines, crow's feet, um, the nose, and then the lines right around my mouth, right around my mouth, right around my mouth. So this is more of a spot treatment, not all over. And then a peptide eye cream because the skin around our eyes is so sensitive. We need to take care of it. And then I normally would do my vitamin C serum. I also have the vitamin C, I wanna say it's called the vitamin C primer by also The Fix. Let me get it closer for you guys. Also by The Fix. Um, that one is really good as well. And then I'll use that. And then last step is, what is this brand? Is the snail mucin that everyone talks about Cosrix? I don't know how to say the brand, but you can get it on Amazon. It's like 14 bucks. This stuff is the bomb. I love it. It's been so good for hydrating my skin. And I always take everything down to my neck. And bonus, I love putting this on the backs of my hands to get them more youthful because, well, I've never been someone who's taken very good care of my skin and driving and sunblock and stuff. We always forget about the skin on tops of our hands. So those are all the products that I'm going to be using today. On my face, it's just going to be these three, but normally it's four. Always have a vitamin C serum. It's really good for brightening your face, evening your skin tone. And vitamin C is just an essential, an essential um, product that our skin needs. So let's get to washing our face. skincare is done and I did some red light therapy which is that one I talked about in my previous vlog that I got for Christmas and then now we got all dressed I just threw on a sweatshirt and these wide leg jeans and I like to when I'm homeschooling put on shoes or put something together because then it feels like to him and to me a little bit more professional and serious and I'm not as lazy and again this is our first year homeschooling so we're figuring it all out still but my hair is up in a very makeshift bun because I have very long, thick hair and buns just don't look cute when you have long, thick hair. But anyway, we're dressed, we're ready to go for homeschooling. I've got um, a pot brewing to make my like fake coffee. I call it because there's no like coffee in it, but it just tastes like coffee. It's pretty yummy. So I'm gonna go make that and then we're gonna get going on school finally. It's, uh, it's been a morning. Don't mind me just standing by my bathroom in my room because it's the quietest right now and the kids are playing some like chase games so if you hear screaming and stuff they're fine they're just being loud but one thing I want to share about my morning routine that I don't think in any of my vlogs I've ever touched on I've probably shown it in just about every vlog that I've ever done but I've never stated why I do it and why I share it in my vlogs. But one thing I'm always sharing is I make my bed. Every single morning, no matter what, I make my bed. No matter if we have to be out of the house early, no matter if we're running behind, we're stressed, we need to get out the door, I make my bed. A while ago, I was working for um, a gentleman, I was doing social media for him, and I was helping him build up an audience for this mindset, um, course or launching thing he was going to do. Anywho, I came across this video. A lot of you have probably seen it by now, but it's an ex Navy SEAL. He's giving a college commencement speech and he talks about in the Navy or in any of the militaries, probably they always preach it to the men when they're in men or women, when they're in like base camp or training, like they make their bed every single morning they get like yelled at wake up make your bed before they do anything else they make their bed and the whole mindset slash like theory behind that is making your bed is such a simple easy and quick task that you can accomplish every single day and by making your bed and accomplishing that task every morning that's one thing that you easily get to check off your list saying i did that that's done i've accomplished something 
and that mindset and that feeling of accomplishment trickles into the rest of your day. And not to mention, like, if you're someone who gets stressed out about, like, spaces and messes, just making your bed. Like, if you come into your room and your bed is not made from, like, the day prior or the night prior, you come in and I feel like it just doesn't feel as comfortable. It's not as relaxing and soothing as it is, you know, pulling the covers off, getting snuggled up in your bed at night or during the day if you're working from home or if you're a stay-at-home mom like me and you happen to come into your room a lot and you see a messy bed, it just does something to like my brain, my mindset, excuse me, and I just don't like that feeling. So if you're someone who wakes up and makes their bed every day, I'm rooting for you, that's awesome, I love it. If you don't, I highly suggest that you try it. Even if you have to wake up a few minutes earlier in the morning, if you are someone who goes somewhere and does something, if you have to wake up just a few minutes earlier to make your bed before you leave to go to work, it will change your life. It's so huge. And if you wanna look up that video, I'm sure if you just type in on Google, Navy SEAL commencement speech, you'll find it. He gives so many other amazing like little tidbits in there as far as mindset goes. And if you guys don't know, which I'm sure most of you do, like Navy SEALs are some of the most mentally and physically tough people that are out there. And so anything that they say, they have put into work. So anywho, off my little TED talk about making the bed. But seriously, you guys, it is one of the biggest things that you can do, especially with the new year. And we're all trying to like be better, make better habits, better mindsets, be more positive, like all the things, right? We're all trying to improve. Try making your bed. And let me tell you, it's it may be little, but it will make a big change for you. And if you guys are lucky like me, you have the opportunity to make your bed multiple times a day. So I get to check off an easy task, not twice, but sometimes two to three you times. So go me. finally showered so I've got clean hair and it's just air drying but I wanted to show you guys because I had mentioned I used my LED wand earlier today and I talked about it in a previous my previous vlog but I don't think I ever showed it and this has been such a crucial step in my morning routine so I thought why not share it on the morning routine vlog the key with this obviously the light this wand also has micro vibration and a heating element which helps it penetrate deeper into the skin to give you more of the effect. But what you wanna do is it lightly glide, barely any pressure, You like putting pressure on like a peach or a pear, like very soft, barely any pressure, and you just glide it across your face. And you want to do it in like a lifting motion. You never want to pull down on your face. You always want to pull up and think like towards your ear, towards your hairline. So up this way for these smile lines, diagonal and up, all your strokes need to be up and then around the eye, you can also do this wand around the eye. Also kind of do like a U or a U, like an upward stroke. And then here kind of a lifting stroke. And then when it comes to the forehead, you're also same thing. You're gonna be lifting up towards the hairline. You can use an, a second hand to, to assist to where it feels comfortable, but you're gonna use it for about two to five minutes on each light, honestly. I love feeling like I just really got a good session in there. And then also on the upper lip, just lightly go over top. And then on these small sections, up and down and also out. And then the nose, kind of follow it along this way, along this way. And then if you're doing the neck or chin, if you want to do the chin area, you can pull forward like this. That is a lifting motion for the chin. And then you can go down 
on I the neck. I need a new shirt. You need a new shirt? Okay. But yeah, you can do down and you can even do this on the backs of your hands. You can do on other body parts. But right now, since I've just um, started using it, I've only really been using it on my face. I can't really like have a testimony about it yet because I've only been using it for maybe a week now or a little bit less than a week. But I do love it and it's almost therapeutic and relaxing. So if anything, you get that out of it. But yeah. And I think guys, I'm going to end the vlog off here because that is pretty much my morning routine. I'm sorry, it was a little bit all over the place and kind of included, included a lot of things, but my mornings are just crazy and I think that's just what it is. But it is so important guys to take care of yourself too, even though you have kids and you're doing things for the kids, like make time for yourself in the mornings. My son is hiding behind me. Make your bunny, yeah. Make time for yourselves, take care of yourselves because you can only give as much to your family and your kids for how much you fill your own cup up. So don't forget to take care of yourselves, guys. You are as important. And for me, working out in the morning has been so nice because I am doing most of my workout while my kids are sleeping. So it's not taking anything away from them. And then mentally, I feel so much more better and ready when I've already worked out first thing. So anyway, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little morning routine, morning in my life. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything specific that you guys want to see for me as a routine or if there's like shorter videos of tips or anything. I know I've been getting some questions on other platforms about my hair because it's really long and healthy. I can make a whole vlog about that if you guys want, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments anything that you guys, guys would like to see. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye.